It's new from Electronic Specialties. These leads attached permanently to your digital voltmeter give you the ability to identify an open circuit, a short to ground circuit, and a corroded circuit instantly, simply by reading voltage as you always have, but adding the one step of pushing this button. If you see system voltage on your voltmeter when you're reading voltage according to manufacturer's instructions, then that means you can't have an open, you can't have a short to ground, and you can't have corrosion if you push this button and you don't see a drop. Voltage drop is immediate with this tool and voltage drop is unquestionably the best way to diagnose a circuit. When the meter jumps around on DC volts as you see it doing here, this is called ghost voltage. This is not a mystery, it's an answer. The answer is you have an open circuit. True zero volts as you see here where the meter locks in on zero zero means that you have a short to ground. Copper is touching steel, the meter is showing continuity, and you know that the circuit is shorted. But anyway, so we're measuring across the coil side of the relay for the horn, positive and negative. And the horn's not being blown, so our meter's just jumping around, ghost, ghost voltage, so to speak. Yeah. Um, push the horn button. There we go. There we go. With our horn applied, we got 12.46 volts battery voltage. We push our button, drops down a little over a volt. And if we want to know where a drop is, we can let off the horn button. We go from positive to the negative ground. Push our button, we have virtually no drop. Um, not. I, that's pretty much it. You're done. I mean, yeah. <laughs> There's not, not a whole lot else I can do right here. No, see that? So, what did Load Pro Leads make it possible to do? Load Pro makes it possible to actually ohm out the entire circuit from the load all the way back to the battery, positive to negative, instantly because pushing this button forces current to flow, which is exactly what an ohmmeter does. The difference is that the system you're working on has a lot more horsepower than that little three volt battery in your meter. So, right here is our horn fuse. We're going to put a resistor in its place. 100 ohm. Simulate corrosion in the system. Now what do you expect with 100 ohms? Um, a voltage is definitely going to drop a whole lot more. Yeah. Uh, have to wait and see what, how okay. much it's going to drop. But we're checking it the same way. Now hitting the horn. Even though you've got the 100 ohms in there, what are you reading? You're still reading 12 volts here. Okay. All right. Now why are we reading 12 volts? We still, let me think about this for a second. Ask yourself a question, am I reading a static oh. voltage or a no, dynamic No, 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 I haven't, I haven't applied a load to the circuit. All I'm reading is static voltage. Yeah. And it's going right through the resistor. Mm -hmm. and, it's, it, the resistor. and it looks as if we have a properly functioning circuit. This is where the manufacturer instructions falls fail. on their face. Yeah. All right, so right here with 100 ohms, hitting the horn, we've got 12 volts, but now we input additional, uh, additional uh, corrosion up, into yeah. it, and Fly we up. drop our voltage down to, to 2.4 volts. All right, under load. Mm -hmm. Now, it's just loaded voltage. Instead of reading voltage, the answer to your question is now you're reading loaded mm -hmm. voltage. That's the difference. It's a huge difference. 
three faults, open, short to ground, high resistance. This is kind of slick. If you read system voltage loaded, then now that means you don't have a harness problem. Let me repeat that because it bears repeating and you need to let it sink in. If you read voltage with these leads and you see system voltage when you do and you push this button and nothing happens, you just prove that there's no fault in the wiring harness. Alright, so now which way up, up or down first? Okay, there's down. Alright, All right, we got, and whenever I plug load, a little bit of drop. Yeah. Uh -huh. Alright, bring it up. Yeah. There's up. Yeah. Now, we've just tested 100% of the entire, the entire circuit. The only thing we didn't test was the motor. Right. But if you've seen the voltage drop, obviously, you're not going to pull the motor. You're not going to waste time yanking it out, going to the parts counter, and then writing up that service order you have to explain somehow. You just start looking in the harness. And as long as you're not pushing this button, it's just like having regular test loops. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's like, why wouldn't you have this anyway? and just not push the button until right. you want it to eliminate well, the possibility of... People leave it in their box. They say it's a special tool. No, it's not. I... <laughs> that uses the crap out of it. Yeah. Watch this. Put that on there. No, just, yeah, just right there. It sits on it. Now, what is the... Oh, it's hollow in the suit. Yeah. So now it won't fall off of an ECM pin. It won't, and, you know, so when you're down in that dark hole, you right. want to check the opposite you know, side of the pin. Mm -hmm. It sticks right to it. We call that steady pin. Like I it? don't... Yeah. I don't know that I've ever noticed that before on, We're, on any of my leads. There aren't. We, we, we did it. Me and two of my friends, all mechanics, sat down at lunch with three sets of leads and two micrometers. The only thing is, I don't know of a single Toyota pin that's pointing. Doesn't have to be. It'll go at the angle because you have sharp edges. See, because oh, yeah. you've, got, you've got sharp edges in there, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So now, you can actually come in at the corner. Right. See, so it just sits on the corner now. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's, no, but it's better way than, better than a straight one. It's better than a sharp one. Because a straight one, you're trying, you have to pretty much get it on the side and yeah. use it as a lever, which then, of course, you bend your pin if you're not careful. Right. So, yeah. um, it's pretty neat. Alright, so you're getting battery voltage during crank, and that makes sense because you're, you're loading the battery. Right. So this is one of those times where I guess you would start out with a loaded test, right? Yes. Yep. Wiring is good. I mean, that's how fast yeah. it is. You know? That's awesome. We want you to start thinking in terms of reading loaded voltage. That's the only change. Add the word loaded in front of the word voltage anytime you say the word voltage and you'll be getting an honest answer. Load Pro Leads from Electronic Specialties. Not just a better way to diagnose, it's the right way to diagnose. <laughs> but you know that now. <laughs> <laughs>